Hi, Curl friends, Naturally Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Come in, stay a while, subscribe, check out some of my other content. If you're one of my old time subbies, thank you. I love you for rocking with me every week. I can't believe that just not too long ago in June, I celebrated my one year YouTube-versary. Yes! <laughs> if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that gold box down below and subscribe. Don't forget to push that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Okay, so today I will be using products from Kinky Curly. If you have not seen my Treatment Tuesday video about this bad boy right here, let me just tell y'all, I had to hop out of the shower to get on camera to film to talk about this. So I will leave that down below in the description and up above in the cards. So after you watch this video, go check out that one if you haven't already done so. So let's get into it. Since I said I'm doing a kinky curly wash and go today, I'm sure y'all already knew kinky curly curling custard is an OG natural hair product and it pairs beautifully with the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. So my hair is already shampooed. I shampooed with the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo and then I followed up with the Hydrating Deep Treatment. All right, first things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I always like to go in on wet hair. I feel like products perform the best at least in my hair, when my hair is either wet or damp. So I'm gonna start off with about this much of the leave-in. Now I'm just going to subsection my hair before I go in with the gel. Wet it down just a little more. So this is the consistency of the curl and custard. So this is how my hair is looking. I'm just going to continue along and I'll be back when the product is all in. Final draft. Okay, so the product is all in. This is what it's looking like wet. I'm gonna go sit under my hooded dryer and I will be back when it's all dry. Okay, so I'm back. I was under the dryer for about an hour and 15 minutes and these are my finished results. I 
y'all enjoy this. Yeah. Running fast from the day job, running fast from the way you are. Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to phase one. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't. Make come through, Kinky Curly, come through. Yes. I was a little nervous when I first started doing my hair because I was starting off on half a jar. One, I'm heavy handed. Two, I have a lot of hair. And three, I'm heavy handed. So I didn't know if it was gonna be enough. So I was trying to be light for me and towards the beginning of my hair. And then when I got around to the other side, I was like, oh, I have like a little corner left. Let me just smooth it on down. And as you can see, I used it all and I'm very pleased with these results. I have a volume, I have some definition. I also wasn't 100% on how this was gonna come out because I know that this jar is about two years old. All right, so that's about it for this Wash and Go Wednesday video. This is the moment in the video where I point your attention to some of my other content, like my hair tag video and my Wash and Go Wednesday playlist. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.